Hey guys. Welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about using metrics to identify performance issues. Using metrics to identify performance issues. To identify performance issues caused by insufficient resources and other common bottlenecks. You can monitor the metrics available for your Amazon RDS DB instance. Viewing performance metrics. You should monitor performance metrics on a regular basis to see the average, maximum, and minimum values for a variety of time ranges. If you do so, you can identify when performance is degraded. You can also set Amazon Cloud Watch alarms for particular metric thresholds so you are alerted if they are reached. To troubleshoot performance issues, it's important to understand the baseline performance of the system. When you set up a new DB instance and get it running with a typical workload, you should capture the average, maximum, and minimum values of all of the performance metrics at a number of different intervals, for example, 1 hour, 24 hours, 1 week, 2 weeks, to get an idea of what is normal. It helps to get comparisons for both peak and off-peak hours of operation. You can then use this information to identify when performance is dropping below standard levels. Choose Monitoring. The first eight performance metrics display. The metrics default to showing information for the current day. Use the numbered buttons at top right to page through the additional metrics or choose Adjust the settings to see more metrics. Choose a performance metric to adjust the time range in order to see data for other than the current day. You can change the statistic, time range, and period values to adjust the information displayed. For example, to see the peak values for a metric for each day of the last two weeks, set statistic to maximum, time range to last two weeks, and period to day. To set a cloud watch alarm, Choose Logs and Events. In the Cloud Watch Alarms section, choose Create Alarm. For Send Notifications, choose Yes, and for Send Notifications to, choose New Email or SMS Topic. For Topic Name, enter a name for the notification. And for with these recipients, enter a comma-separated list of email addresses and phone numbers. For metric, choose the alarm statistic and metric to set. For threshold, specify whether the metric must be greater than, less than, or equal to the threshold, and specify the threshold value. For evaluation period, choose the evaluation period for the alarm, and for consecutive periods of, choose the period during which the threshold must have been reached in order to trigger the alarm. For name of alarm, enter a name for the alarm. Choose Create Alarm. The alarm appears in the Cloud Watch Alarms section. 